is about her duration cycle, along with a little bit of low voltage electrical. First of all, we're going to say you got your thermostat to initiate the action. Then that's going to initiate the outside condensing unit and your air handler unit. Your squirrel cage will automatically come on in air conditioning mode. We'll talk about the evaporator coil, electrical disconnect, refrigerant low voltage schematic, and package units. First, let's get into thermostat. Refrigerant low voltage schematic. This is your typical air conditioning thermostat. Your regular heat and your regular cool. First you got a red wire coming from your transformer. And that goes to the R, which was your fan auto selector. When in auto, your fan will not come on until the thermostat calls for cooling or heat depending upon what mode you're in. So this is cool and right now it's in the off position. When you select it to the cool position and your thermostat, whatever the case may be, digital or whatever, when it calls for cooling it closes this set of contacts right here. Your fan automatically comes on you follow the green back and it energizes a relay and that energizes your fan motor. It also brings on the condensing unit if you follow the yellow that goes out to your condensing unit and that energizes the contactor or relay out there. Some of them do have a comb, some of them don't. It depends. But you can use any color you want for a common. The most, most four uh, colors used are red, white, yellow, and green. Here's your refrigeration cycle. This is your compressor. Once your compressor is energized by your thermostat, it pumps hot refrigerant through your condenser. Your fan comes on and pushes the cool air from the heat exchanger to the outside, which in turn brings warm or liquid refrigerant to your expansion valve. Your expansion valve, TVX, piston, whatever you have, will flow into your evaporator coal. Your evaporator coal will then start cooling down. Your fan will come on at the same time and start blowing cooler air depending upon the temperature inside the house. It'll give, me, give you maybe a, a, anywhere from a 5 to 10 degree drop in temperature at first. Then it starts all over again. Your cold refrigerant comes back to your compressor to cool it down. It brings your lubrication also back to your compressor. What you have here is condensation to your drain, to your outside. Sometimes you have a condensation pump, which you can have a PVC pipe going into a little condensation pump. When it fills up, it'll start up and then it'll flow outside. If for any reason the condensation pump level gets stuck, it will automatically shut off your thermostat, preventing any flooding from inside your home. That's only if you have a condensation pump. Let's go on to the next slide. This is your typical exterior disconnect. Now sometimes you have an interior disconnect similar to this. This is a 30 amp disconnect. Why you would use a 30 amp disconnect inside is possibly you have electric heat strips uh, with a, a heat pump or even just an electric furnace. This would be used uh, on your outside unit mainly if you have a um, package unit or a regular condensing unit. The, this by law must be installed. 
Moving on. Back to our low voltage schematic. Your transformer is 120 volts. You can have a 220 volt transformer. Doesn't matter. But the secondary voltage has to be uh, 24 volts. You see right here is your common coming off your 24 volt side. Going to your relays. Your red wire is your positive side and you send that one to the red on your you send that to the thermostat do the same thing for your white wire and that goes to a relay inside to bring on heat relays or whatever you have in there um, electric heat uh, so on and so forth uh, gas heat uh, and that'll bring this uh, relay enclose it and energize the gas valve uh, the electric heat strips whatever we're not talking heat pump yet that'll be in another lecture yellow when it calls for cooling it brings on the fan automatically and it causes the compressor to kick on at the same time or the condensing unit green is your fan on and auto switch Right now it should be an auto because if you're in air conditioning mode you can go ahead and set it up for when it calls for cooling it will go ahead and kick on uh, automatically as soon as it calls for cooling unless there's a time delay. Let's go to the next slide. Here's your typical package unit. There's your compressor. We'll go through your compressor gives you high pressure and it comes down here your fan is running usually have one to two fan motors here sometimes one and it turns into a liquid down here and your outside air is sucked in through the sides of the condensing unit or package unit and blows outside as you can see in this illustration. Then your refrigerant turns into a liquid and comes through your expansion valve. Your expansion valve turns it into a low pressure mist. Goes to the evaporator coal and gets blown out cooling air through the cooling coals by your squirrel cage. Like I said before, sometimes the same fan motor comes back into the compressor with your lubricants and cooling the compressor down. Alright, that's about it for now. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. And remember, subscribe and give me the thumbs up button.